Yesterday, the Republican convention began in the United States. At the very start, Donald Trump was officially announced as the presidential candidate by his party. And this event overshadowed even Jerome Powell's speech. Nevertheless, the chair of the Fed Reserve managed to draw the market's uh, attention when he discussed conditions for a rate cut. He mentioned that the latest macroeconomic report slightly boosted confidence that inflation was returning to the target level and that the regulator would likely act before inflation hit 2%. In this light, the US dollar should have fallen. However, this did not happen for two reasons. First, the markets had already priced in the September rate cut in the United States. Second, the dollar found support thanks to the demand for the safe haven assets amid the attack on Donald Trump and his potential inflationary reforms. The third plenary session of the Chinese Communist Party also began yesterday. This event, held once every five years, is a significant moment for the Chinese government to report achievements and success. However, given yesterday's statistics, such terms are likely to be used uh, um, sarcastically. GDP, retail sales and housing prices did not reach the anticipated high figures and were even below previous levels. Now, let us look at the reports that traders should pay attention to on a Wednesday, July 17. You are watching Traders Calendar. So, the Republican of the Reuters Tankan Sentiment Index for Manufacturers in Japan will open the trading session. Given the yen's continued sell-off, this report might slow down the process, if it means expectations and rises to 8 points from 6 points. The previous figure was the lowest in performance due to the weak yen, which increased costs for materials and imports. Manufacturers passed uh, both uh, cost on the customers, who reduced activity due to the weak yen. UK consumers find themselves in a comfortable position. The inflation growth rate has slowed, and uh, the annual inflation rate reached 2% in May, returning to the Bank of England's target. Core prices also dropped. The last published reading of 3.5% was the lowest since October 2021. Before after the report's release, the British pound is likely to see a moderate decline. The UK Retail Price Index report may push the British pound even deeper. The June indicator is expected to fall by 0.1% compared to the previous months. May's 3% figure marked the lowest core retail prices since April 2021. Several reports on Eurozone prices are expected on a Wednesday. Analysts predict a slight decline to 2.5% from a 2.6% in the inflation growth rate. And this report will provide the final data that the market has already processed after the issue of a preliminary estimates. Nonetheless, the price decrease in the Eurozone will negatively affect its currency. The euro may fall even more if U.S. macroeconomic statistics meet expectations. For instance, the forecast for building permits in the United States is set at 1.4 million. A rise in the construction sector significantly drives the economy, involving income, consumer demand, production, raw materials and services. The full positive data will boost the US dollar. However, the dollar's triumph might be short-lived. Building permits are a leading economic indicator. What's more, the US industrial production data will be released, and this figure might drop to 0.2% from a 07 potentially interrupting the dollar's appreciation if it happens. We will monitor the market reaction to the above-mentioned reports. Subscribe to our channel and follow changes in market sentiment with us. Any comments, questions and offers are welcomed. We wish you profitable trading and see you soon.